not gonna waste any time. I am gonna crack this box right here and see this case and see how it's set up. This is six box number one. Uh, you guys know I hate to cruise through it, but because I'm running a little behind and I know people are excited to get to theirs, I might go through it a little bit faster than normal. All right, here's, ooh, I like it. All right, a lot lighter presentation than last year's. Um, actually, no, it was about the same. That was a, a similar box last year. One, two, three, we'll do the left six. Four, five, six, we'll do the right six. Five, we are gonna do the right six. Here we go. 144 cards, I think, is it? A, a, a box. There's three of them. Four, oops, four, five. Now, there are case hits historically in Prism. Um, I talked about these like a week or so ago. It's a uh, it's a, a, a rookie jersey auto generally. This year it does have some. It looks like I don't know the, those uh, cards they put on the promo sheet. Those like really bright ones with the color pop on it. The really white card color pop. I don't know if they're case hits or what. We'll find out. I haven't watched any hobby breaks of this yet. I watched some first off the line, but the difference is with first off the line, it wasn't really as much of a first off the line as it was a um, a premium product, kind of like they did with 18 Optic last year where they, they put it out early, but it didn't have any of the base. And that's kind of like um, what it's like with with Optic and Prism, you want those parallels, right? And they didn't really include those a lot in there. So we'll, we'll see how it's set up. Three autographs. Here's what we'll do with this. Um, I do have a interesting a little bit of uh, fantasy trivia. One fantasy trivia for a question for you. But where's everybody at in their leagues? Is there anybody that's already eliminated? We're going to do it pack by pack just for the first box. I can't help but not do that to figure out the packs. All right, just like last year, our two rookie cards are in the back. We have a Taylor Rapp and a DK Metcalf. Earl Thomas, Leonard Williams. Kind of remind me of the 15 prism a little bit. Nick Foles, Stafford, Watkins, Drew Bledsoe. There's a Derwin James, some sort of parallel there. Oh, no, I guess it's just these are, okay, I just noticed those. Pretty cool addition to the car, like an accent. If you see it, it looks like it comes in on all cards. That is a fireworks Christian McCaffrey. And out of 175, Nick Vanette for the Seattle Seahawks. Pack two. Three autos per box, all autos. No, no patches except for the in the uh, retail and the case it. There's a Kyler Murray, Clayton Thorson, Eli Manning, Josh Allen. I think seven parallels per box is what it is there's the silver that is a one per box silver Darrell Henderson and a Dexter Williams out of 199 blue that is one silver per box that is a box hit so very much it's crazy much different than basketball basketball kind of inserts them pretty frequently but the value is higher I think if you get some of the the better rookies you'll get um you know, good value on them. I don't know what a Darrell Henderson will give you on a silver. I will say also, if you're over on Facebook, come over to youtube.com slash blazing breaks. If you're on a device, an iPad, a, a phone, whatever it is, um, I would encourage you to make sure you get into the app and just search blazing breaks with three Z's. Um, and then you'll be able to chat. If you're on a computer, just log in, make sure you're logged into your Google account on, on, um, out of 249, Terry Godwin, your Google account for YouTube, and you'll be able to chat with us that way. I'm sure it's going to be quiet. Generally during the day it is for chat, but please feel free to jump in. And I, I, I'll i give this, this little uh, fact later, but I heard this and I thought it was a really interesting um, fact. So it's, it's pertaining to a running back. So on um, this running back is averaging, I think it's three – Point two yards per carry. These numbers might be like point one or two off, but the general idea is uh, three point two yards per carry. But he has such a low low number of carries 
But when he gets back to back, there's an emergent carry on out for the year. Marvin Jones, 10 of 10. Marvin Jones gold for the Lions, 10 of 10. When he gets a back to back carry, so as long as it's not a, a running play, if he just does a running play, he gets 3.2 yards per carry average. Um, on a back to back carry, his second carry average, that was weird. Why was that backwards? Is um, four and a half yards per carry. He goes up over a yard per carry on average when he gets a back to back carry. Yet this team refuses to use him more. Who am I talking about? What running back am I talking about? There's a Gary Jennings, Ingram Bell, Beckham Taylor, Olsen Fuller, Robinson. There's a Marino. Some cool vets in here. There's a Josh Norman out of 149 going to the Redskins, Red Parallel. 620p. All right, there you go, Gary. Thanks for jumping in, dude. Nailed it. It is David Montgomery, Jamar. Did you hear that stat already? Just kind of nuts. Devin Bush, Anthony Johnson, Ingram, Beasley. Ah, that's the same picture they used on his last one. I was hoping we got a different picture for Beasley. First one up is going to be for the Denver Broncos. Drew Locke. Way to get it started. There we go. Kaboom! I'm not sure when we're going to see him, but I would imagine, man, you guys know I talked about it last week, speaking of rookie quarterbacks, or earlier this week, when is Haskins going to get his chance? The Haskins experiment for this year may be put on hold. Like, it's not, I mean, that was the plan. They may not be experimenting too much with him. He missed, overthrew wide open receivers last night. I mean, he had to go in because of the concussion protocol, but the coach made it very clear. There's a Juju hype. And Karan Higdon out of 149 going to the Texans. Um, wow, Chad, that is a crazy fact. Matt. A.J. Brown, there's a Daniel Jones. We have a redemption. Get your guess in. Stephon Diggs all, last night. Did you guys watch? Um, here, I'll, I'll set this right here off to the side. Um, get your guesses in. I'll give you $2 credit if you can get your guesses in. One guess per person. You can't repeat guesses. $2, $2, $2, $2, $2. If you're not over on YouTube and you can't see what Chad... What Chad wrote, he said, here's a fun fact. He said a fun face, but I got what he was saying. The Pats would be 2-4-1 and one this season if their offense didn't play a single snap. That's how good their defense is right now. And there's a Jared Goff out of 199. The parallels in this, the camera does not do them justice. They look very sharp in person. There's a Hollywood, Jawan Williams, Baker, Saquon McCoy, Hooper Evans, uh, Chris Carson, Brilliance, and there's a Barry Sanders out of 249. I believe he has autos in it. At last I checked, Panini still had not put out um, a, a checklist. We'll do this at the very last year. Ooh, is this a case hit? Oh, no, it's just weird how the card was. There is Slayton, DeAndre Baker, pair of Giants rookies. Thielen, Brita, Carlos Hyde, and ooh, look at that. It's out of 99, but it looks like some sort of cracked ice variation. I don't want to call it cracked ice. I know that's a contender thing, but it looks great. Uh, here's a fun fact. The Patriots offense, if they didn't even play a single snap this year, the Patriots would still be 2-4-1 and one without their offense on the field. All right, last pack of box one. Should be an auto in here. We have our redemption to look at yet. All right, Josh Oliver and Justice Hill are two rookies. Two rookies per pack. Joe Montana, Dante Pettis, and Jermaine Pratt. Sensational signature is going out to the Cincinnati Bengals. That's going to be Max Carey getting an auto. The first auto of the Denver Broncos going out to Bryce. I know, uh, Brian. I said that earlier. I thought they may have been even closer to the top 10. All right, your guesses are in. We'll go on timestamps only on YouTube. Can you guess, guys? I'm not pulling up Facebook because 
if that was the reason we were having some stream issues, I didn't want it to continue to happen. Here we go. Let's see who these redemptions are. Panini Prism. Just a rookie autographs. Benny Snell Jr. Benny Snell. Did anyone guess? Oh, yeah. A couple people did. Let's see. I have Alex first. Alex, you get $2 credit. $2, dollars $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $
uh, as far as rankings, uh, like as far as uh, week to week starters go. Joey Bosa out of 175. There's his brother, Nicky Bosa. Guys, I'm, I'll am i be at the game this Sunday, but um, John Thomas from our group is going as well, along with my sister. I'm going to take some prism with me. We saw, talked about maybe doing a small, like, divisional break or something. It'll probably just be like a cell phone break, something like that, just so we can maybe break while we're... Hey, that cut looks bad on that card. Jim Kelly out of 199 for the Buffalo Bills. Joey Haynes. Should still have one more autograph. Did not find our silver yet either. And if I ever pass the silver, I'll make sure to go back if we don't have one in a box and we'll locate it. They're, I mean, they're important cards to get out of this. Trey Burton out of 249 for the Chicago Bears. One numbered card or auto per pack. Uh, I don't know how the packs setup is. This has nothing in it. There's our two. It's two rookie cards. So there's a Josh Jacobs, LJ Callier. This didn't even have a parallel in it. So no, not necessarily. There are seven prisms per box, three autographs, and two rookies per pack. That's as far as I know. That's the setup. Like your two rookies are always in the back: Dexter Lawrence and Raquel Armstead. And then usually, if the prism is, it's near the after the rookies there where we pulled out. So there's a Sammy Watkins. That looked like a parallel. It is a. This isn't even marked as a prism, which is weird. Sure looked like one. And then uh, there's your parallel, Kenyon Drake, out of 249. Kenyon Drake. Talking big time about him getting traded. If he does get traded, where do you think he lands? I know it's. Um, I think it was my brother I was talking to about Sony Michelle. Matt, were we talking about Sony Michelle? About about Melvin Gordon maybe going to New England. But, I mean, even if it's not him, it sounds like there is going to be our silver, one per box. There's an Aaron Rodgers. That's our silver. One per box. Aaron Rodgers going out to Joseph. Three autographs, nine numbered prisms, one silver parallel, 24 rookies. So that makes sense. Two rookies per pack. And then four inserts. Thank you, Jamar. So, yeah, so no, not necessarily every pack. The only thing you're guaranteed every pack is two rookies. All right, that's box number two. Did we not get an auto in that? Or did I put it somewhere else? Did we not get a third auto? If that's the case, guys, you know how I roll. I will absolutely give a, a replacement hit. We are out of packs, and I don't see an auto yet. Let me fly through these. If that's the case, we will be giving a bonus hit. It's insane. I like to keep track of all that for that reason. We saw that last year occasionally, not too often from Prism. All right, I'll be giving you guys a bonus hit at the end. I'll make it a good one. Remind me. I got to put this box up. Uh. All right, bonus hit coming for you guys. Unless we pulled it. No, I didn't stick it over there. Craziness. All right. Uh, Chad, that depends, um, on what I'm looking for. Like I get to ask that question a lot. If I was going to buy a personal box, I like to open a lot of packs. Um, like I've opened a box of origins before and it's cool. Cause you're going to get hits, right? Like you're going to get, I still didn't get great bangers out of it, but I mean, it was fun because I know I'm going to get a, an auto, uh, autograph patch and then, uh, a, um, a mem card as well but for me i like stuff that has more packs with it like phoenix was fun phoenix was fun because it had parallels and three hits and some good you know patch autos and stuff like that i would say absolute probably one of my favorite products but that again that goes to the point where you're not getting a lot of packs 
Prism is cool, but it's pretty, um, it gets pretty repetitive, except for when you're looking for Spectre definitely is suited. Four packs, lots of hits, but again, you can get almost three, you can get three boxes of Phoenix for a box of Prism. And when you break it down like that, when you start to break it down like that, you're saying, all right, I can get nine Phoenix hits or 10 Spectre hits. And out of those 10 Spectre hits, only four of them are gonna be autographs, where in Phoenix, you're gonna get six autographs. So, I mean, I would probably, if you're gonna buy a box of Spectre, I'd say, nah, go buy a box of Luminance, a box of Certified, and a box of, you know, Illusions, or a box of, you're gonna get more hits, and you're gonna spend the same amount Yep, well, I'll, I'll be giving a replacement hit, guys. I'm not, we're going to keep, obviously, I'm trying to keep track of all that, make sure that if they short us, we'll always, we'll always take care of it. What I can do, too, is I can do something like give a silver pack out or something, too. We'll, we'll see at the end, then. Hakeem Butler, out of 249. Stephon Diggs. Oh, yeah, so last night, post-game interview. You know, they didn't have this. They didn't have any intention to stir up any trouble by doing this. But they brought on Kirk Cousins and Stephon Diggs on stage at the same time. Sean Alexander out of 175. And um, <laughs> they actually asked Stephon Diggs, so do you still want trade? Like, do you, are you still happy here? Do you still want out? 26 out of 75. Green swirl for the Denver Broncos. Brett Ripien. I'm about to get some sleeves here. Brett Rippey and Denver Broncos going out to Bryce again. Well, that's what I'm saying, Aaron. And I saw your post. Was that you the other day, Aaron, that said about happy what getting in the breaks because you got all that stuff for like 60 bucks? The fraction. I mean, th these boxes are $200 in hobby shops right now. And hobby shops, it's people are like, oh, you know, I've heard hobby shop owners say, guys would come back in and say, I didn't get my hit. It's not really on them. They're not going to do anything. A good hobby shop might give you a hit. Like they might say, yeah, pick out of our low, you know, our five, ten dollar hit box or something like that. I know at least that's how I would want to handle it. But did we go through all these? Yeah. But I know a lot of them say there's not, you know, there's nothing I'm gonna do. There's not, you gotta get a hold of Panini. So that's the one thing that does suck. There's our silver, another Packers silver. The Aaron Rodgers last time, the Darnell Savage this time. Uh, Bryce, you got yourself a Drew Locke prism I think all of them are considered prisms when you get to the autographs we'll have to look and make sure is it a silver auto I, I'm that's what I'm trying to wonder if, or figure out if they're all silvers on the autographs out of 149 Bradley Chubb hype Cam Newton does he play for Carolina this this year yet? Philip Lindsay out of 249. There's a Josh Jacobs. Yeah, so Stefan Diggs was asked that question, and it was so awkward so fast. Did anybody see that interview? He just got this like shitty and grin on him and pretty much was like they they said he looked like he just stole cookies from the cookie jar before dinner. He was up to no, he's like, I'll just say this. I like the people I play with. I like the the people who are running this organization and I'm happy. And that's all he said. He wouldn't answer the question if he still wanted out or not. There's another redemption. Let's get your guesses in. There's a Hawkinson and there's a Minshew. Barry Sanders, not a parallel or anything. Taylor Rapp Auto. Again, it is a silver prism. So as of right now, even if it's not numbered, it looks like the autos are going to be silver prisms. Taylor Rapp for the LA Rams. No swatches except for the fact that there is one swatch autograph per, per case. It's a case hit. There's Easton Stick rookie and Noah Fant. Bo Jackson, there's a Patrick Peterson. 
I cannot believe Patrick uh, Mahomes has not been ruled out yet. There's a John Brown in a Bills uniform. Man, I kind of like the Bills uh, players in this so far, even if it's just for the parallels. And guys, when I talk about, there's a David Njoku out of 175. When I talk about not just wanting hits, I have literally bought into player breaks of Jerry Hughes now for Phoenix. He doesn't have a single hit, but I want his parallels. Like, I want the collection of him. Darius Slay out of 149. So, it's something to start considering, especially if you want to get cards graded. You can get the silvers in this graded, the short print parallels, like the camos and stuff graded, and do better on it than you can some of the base autos. So, don't think you have to have a hit, like an autograph, to have a value card. The silver's graded, the low print auto's graded. You know, some of the better autos, or some of the better base graded, do well. All right, you got your guesses in. Here we go. Let's see who we got. Noah Fan. I'm Rick James. Bitch. Denver Broncos tearing it up. Noah Fan. Denver Broncos going out. Another one. Bryce has got three hits already. Oh my! He's on fire. Did anyone guess Fan? I don't think so. Let me see Montgomery, Snell, Campbell, Brown, Paris, Brown, Winovich, Hollywood, and nobody. Nobody got it right. Unacceptable! No one at all. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> All right. So far, it's been a Broncos break. We're halfway in. We have we have three boxes in and just as many Broncos autographs. So hopefully we can switch it up here. There's a case hit. Yes, there is a case hit. It is uh, a rookie patch auto, and I talked about this last week. It's kind of weird with Prism, right? So actually, last year when we went to the when I went to the Bills game with my dad and my brother, we took a single box of Prism to open, and my brother opened up the Baker Mayfield case hit out of 49. It's a purple parallel, and it's crazy. It was a an orange swatch. It was a pretty cool looking card. Had a swatch autograph and. Oh, that would be a good one, Jamar. I'll look that up, see if we can find that. Um, but it went for less than the base auto out of 49 purple. It was like the case it didn't go for as much. All right, I got it. Here it is. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it was? Oh, it was. You're right. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I know Prism Retail Basketball came out, Kelly. Oh, wow, that is the case hit. Jeepers, creepers. Thank you, guys. I'm used to just seeing rookie patch autos. Killer boots, man. All right, I'll look that one up next. Remind me if uh, after we get through this next box. Or if we get a Cowboys hit, I'll look it up. I, I will say this. I do like the parallels in this. I always did like Prism parallels. Right now, man, it seems like, and I know, Todd, you are an advocate that mixers are always team heavy. Don't really understand the logic behind it, but this is my justification right here in front of you why I think that I like mixers more than just case it, uh, you know, one product breaks. It's because if you get a Broncos case, we just got three autographs out of three boxes. I mean, there's really no way. I just think sometimes they run run the presses on the same team for, for cases. Adrian Peterson, Gronkowski, Dalton. Silver Illumination, Luke Keekley Prism. Jawan Williams out of 249. There's an Ed Oliver and Singletary Rookies. Rock Yassin is our silver in this one. 
That is going to be our silver rookie going out to the Indianapolis Colts. Chris, I believe we said they, are they leading the division right now then, right? That's crazy. Yeah, I put up a post on our page the other day. If the, if the season ended right now, who would be in the playoffs? And it would be the AFC East bringing two teams with the Patriots and the Bills and the AFC South bringing two teams. There's a Riley Ridley at a 199. I like that parallel. Uh, that would be with the Texans and the Colts. <laughs> Scott's, uh, Scott's salty. I'm, Bryce doesn't even get the Seahawks and he's getting hits. Out of 175, Landry. Campbell, there's a Greer. Patrick Mahomes, there's a Tajay Sharp. Prism out of 199. And a Minshew rookie, Jalen Ferguson. Dante Hightower, Zeke Cooper. Did we go? Nope, we didn't yet. Hey! Oh, I'll definitely be getting bills in this. Dawson Knox. Been a big player for the Buffalo Bills this year. Dawson Knox, auto out of 75. Buffalo Bills. There we go. All right. Who's got them bills? Joey Haynes. There you go. Dawson Knox. Green swore out of 75. All the bills cards are guys in their practice jerseys. So we get like new players every year. There's a Michael Vick. Zach Ertz. How about a Steve Young out of 149? Practice. I'm talking about practice. Sorry, that was the pile I set up there. That's why I went through it so quickly. And Hakeem Butler Prismato going out to the Arizona Cardinals. It's going to be John C. with a Hakeem Butler. Are you asking? No, he's not. Listen, and I, I posted those those uh, fantasy stats. It has Dalvin Cook at the top. And I saw someone said, see, I told you Cook. Cook is currently number one. He played last night. He's got an extra game over everyone. Two over some people that had a... Vikings didn't have their bye week yet, did they? No, so he has two games more than some play people. One over everyone this week except for the Redskins. Rodney Anderson out of 99. I'm not saying he's not better. I mean, he's got to stay healthy. But, you know, CMC had that injury this year. And he's been, you know, he's been a little, I should say, banged up. Not injury, but a little banged up. He's getting a lot of usage, which is always puts you in a little bit of caution mode when they're getting that many carries and carrying the team that, that much. But yeah, so um, there's another uh, parallel for the Niners at a 249. A Joe Montana. Another redemption. Jeez. Lots of redemptions in this. And if I remember, this was pushed back. Out of 149, Travis Homer for the Hawks. Britt Rippian. A lot of redemption so far. All right, here we go. Carlos Hyde, purple out of 49. Yep, this is a very similar, the parallel they had the last year. It does have that, like, checkerbox style um, finish on it. I really do like the purple out of 49. Carlos Hyde, sit on the Kansas City Chiefs. Fulham and Rashawn Gary. Let's go ahead and get your guesses in for the prism. We only gave two out so far. Or uh, one $2 credit, I should say. You have a chance for another one here. Here we go. All right. Rookie autographs. Still a redemption. Thought they would switch it up. David Montgomery. It was first guessed by Alex. Alex getting another $2 credit. But the Cleveland, or I'm sorry, the Chicago Bears going out to Aaron. There you go, Aaron. Chicago Bears. David Montgomery. There you go. 
All right, let's go on the box five. We'll have our second half coming up not uh, long, long after we get done with this one. I will get some pictures posted of the hits on the museum page. I won't put them on the regular page right away so that people during the day that haven't had a chance to check their the break or watch the break. I will, and then what I'm going to do is put the video up for upload right away. Then once that uploads, I'll try to set up and go for number two. Give it about 20, 25 minutes probably. Right, Alex? There you go. Come on, who else is doing that, right? Where else can you pop in and just win money just for sitting and watching watching a break? You don't have to be in the break to guess the redemption. You do have to be the first one to name it, and you have to be something I started doing is saying you have to be on YouTube. I can't honor it because I'm not going to pull up Facebook anymore to chat. If you want to chat, it's easy. Hop over on YouTube. Like I said before, if you're on a device, all you have to do is log into the app. Or get into the app and search Blazing Breaks. B-L-A-Z-Z-Z-I-N. You don't have to. Um, if you click the link and it just goes to your browser on a, like a tablet or a phone, it's not going to let you chat, unfortunately. I don't know why they do that. Maybe if you do some sort of setting on your device. I don't know. But that's what we figured out. Thanks, Jamar. Four teams left in number. Uh, one, two, three, four. What? Six teams left in number four. Ravens, Panthers, Bears. Browns, Broncos, and Steelers. Go get them. Broncos, we're seeing how much they're hitting. There's a Juju and a Ricky Seals Jones. RSJ out of 149. Ramsey Adams, butt kiss. Dak Prescott Green out of 175. Guys, I will be doing a uh, Prism DraftKings this week. So if you're in any break that has Prism, we'll do a DraftKings for it. A Julian Love for the New York Giants going out to Joseph Gunn. Julian Love. The New York football Giants. There's a Keenan Allen and a Julio Jones out of 149. Just signed that huge contract and... Probably should have worried about winning some games before they gave that to him. What, what, one in six now? It's crazy the separation between some of those teams. You know, you look at uh, them specifically, but even the Chargers, and I think if you really want to get into it, the Bears, and I, I kind of had higher expectations for the Bengals as well. Those are four teams I feel like were big surprises. Dak Prescott, we got the Aaron Rodgers vet silver. Now you got a Dak Prescott. The silvers that really bring in money, and this is true in basketball too, are the rookies. The rookie silvers is what you're looking for. Um, for this year, um, I mean, if you're looking to get your best likelihood of a hit, the Ravens seem to hit a ton everywhere. Marlon Mack out of 175. I think that the Chargers have great value because of Easton Stick. I think the Bengals have great value. I did that. I've talked about this a lot in 2017. There's a J.J. Watt. This is definitely my favorite parallel so far. The purple in this one, the 49 and the 99. Uh, in, in 17 when I did it, it was the Rams, the Colts, and the Bengals. And got a lot of end up being uh, the Lions too um, a little bit. Last year, it was almost just the Bills because the Bills were a lot pricier because of having... You know, Josh Allen. There is, speaking of the Ravens, there it is. Trace McSorley going out to Baltimore. Ravens going to be Chris Vogt. Now, I don't know what resale is going to be like on this, but again, with three autos in the price of the box, I wouldn't be giving some of these rookie autos away. Sensational signatures, obviously, can be the rookies, too. It doesn't have to just be vet. Um, and another one, sensational signatures. Bryce Love. Maybe they'll give us an extra autograph. Bryce Love for the Washington Redskins going out to Lonnie Biddle, who I believe is a Redskins fan. I think that that's the thing, Chris. I Listen, I just think a lot of that responsibility has fallen on Mitchell Trubisky. He needs to be better. I mean, the defense needs to be better. That defense is what they're really like. You know, they went and got Mac and... Put all these things in place. Out of 75, Jordan Akins. 
Um, but the defense hasn't been anything impressive. It's not like you're tuning in to watch it. You know, New England's really captivated the NFL with their defense this year, what they've been able to do, and kind of put, you know, what the Bears were trying to do in the spotlight in a way to say, hey, like this, that's to me, that's what the Bears were supposed to look like. That's how I envisioned the Bears defense this year, kind of going into it. Harrison uh, Butker out of 249. I mean, maybe my expectations were obviously they were off. Maybe I had false expectations. I, I still have to say that the the Falcons are one of the biggest disappointments year after year, ever since the Super Bowl. It's just been, you know, they haven't been able to recover. Willie Sneed out of 249 for the Ravens. Amendola, we got another parallel here. Karan Higdon for the Texans out of 199. There's a Riley Ridley and a Devin White. The 49ers D is pretty solid too. Yeah. I mean, and that's why they're in there. If you if you look at if you start to look at records and you see the 49ers as an undefeated team, and I think one of the reasons that they're not in like the maybe top two or three, you know, they're just people are like, why aren't they number two next to the Pats if they're undefeated? Because their offense is kind of like I, I feel like very much in a Buffalo Bills situation where I I would compare the two. You know, we're one we're one. I think what we lost by three, a field goal away from being undefeated as well. I would say we're as closest comparison to the Niners as any other team in the league. Um, and I say it because it's it's really our defense carrying us. If we can put enough points on the, the board that our defense can hold the other team, that's how we're winning games. And I see that as as kind of what the Niners are doing. Um, you know, you even look at how they play, who they play last week, the Redskins. Again, I, that game kind of has an asterisk mark, asterisk mark next to it because of the swamp they were playing in. Well, you heard the stat at the beginning, Alex. Were you in here when I said the stat? Uh, David Montgomery. Is averages 3.2 yards per carry, but when they give him back-to-back -back carries, his second carry average is 4.7 yards. I think it is. He's like a yard, a yard, 1.2 or 1.5 yards better on his second carry if it comes right after his first. It's a, it's obviously it's a real stat. You, you can twist stats any way you want. Um, that could be just a fluke. It could not mean anything, but really. Give it, a, give it a chance to make sense. Feed him the ball game. What, Trubisky went through 50 sometimes. Was that last game? That Was that last game? The Bears. Oh, yeah, because they were off, right? Last week. The, before the all week, Biscuit threw 50 sometimes. Why? He's not that good. Why are you letting him throw 50 sometimes? If anything, control his throws. Give him more of a... You know, chance to make good throws instead of just giving them volume. I'm not really understanding it there. Their coach was so creative last year. I thought, you know, he did some really cool things to keep that offense moving. This year, he just seems kind of, I don't know. They're not. They're they're definitely not meeting expectations. Roquan Smith out of 199. And there's an Antonio Callaway out of 149. All right, so I don't have the schedule in front of me, but how many games do the... I know we're going to get some trolls and haters in here, but how many more games, realistically, do you think the Browns win for the rest of the year now that they're coming back from the bye week? What's their record coming back from the bye week for weeks, what, 8 through 17? So nine games left out of 99, Julian Edelman. How many, what's their record out of the last nine, nine games? Yeah, so what's the value behind that? Why are they not giving them the ball? I mean, I see it why Singletary for the Bills isn't getting a lot because um, Gore is just tearing it up. I mean, with his yards per carry. But to not give Singletary it makes a lot more sense. You know, they're at least are feeding the back. Troy Brown, 6 out of 10 for the New England Patriots. Another one of those gold parallels right there. Brad says they'll go 4-5. and five. The Browns will go 4-5 and five for the rest of the year. Darius Slayton. Uh, Brad, thanks, man, for getting my dad the bills and that. I, I messaged him this morning. Nazir Adderley for the Chargers. I don't know if you saw, but he did write you a message on that break post. I don't think he knows how to tag. Uh, 
Oh, are you serious? I hate when those guys do that. The, who? What was the receiver that guaranteed a win? Guaranteed a win over New England. Oh, Landry did? Man, that's like a, a fishtail from a third grader. Like, you can't. He's just excited. There's no truth to it. He, he what? What'd he say? He was probably like, oh, shoot. Did not did no one learn anything from Jalen Ramsey? Do you remember in the, before the Super Bowl, so they were going to go in and, and win, and they were, they were already talking about, he was talking about Super Bowl. They hadn't even got past New England yet, nor did they ever make it past. Not to mention that they had the game in the hand and the defense lost it for them. Like, Brady came in the second half and just threw all over them. Here we go. Devin White for the Tampa Bay Bucks going out to Andrew Vodagel. No banger yet out of this. We did get the case hit in this half, which was the Noah Fan. Broncos really tearing up the break as far as numbers go. A Drew Locke, a fan case hit. There's a Daniel Jones. What? What's that, Matt? Caden Smith out of 175. And another one for the Ravens, Jalen Ferguson going out to Baltimore. Chris with a couple of autos. Again, there you go. Are you guys all right that I'm kind of flying through the base there? I'm stopping at all parallels and stuff. Hope, hopefully it's not too grainy for you. You know normally I don't go that fast, but with us starting a little bit an hour behind because of the field trip, I want to give everyone a chance to get to their break as much as I can. Kelvin Harmon out of 249 and Dwayne Haskins. They're going to have to make a decision there with Dwayne Haskins to see what, what their plan is because they're going to get an early draft pick. There's some quarterbacks coming up. There's a Bo Jackson. Darnell Savage is going to be for the Green Bay Packers. One of the, the I think, one of the most exciting rookies of the uh, this year. Darnell Savage. He has a really nice auto, too. The stickers uh, do look better on this than they did in the mock-ups. They kind of stood out way too much in the mock-ups. I know. Well, what is, well, what's his stats? I mean, to be fair, it's it's not necessarily his fault. The guy's a good receiver, but he doesn't need to be running his mouth. They just need to worry. The Browns need to stop talking and start playing. That's all there is to it. Out of 249, Marvin Jones. Did we get our silver out of this? Oh, yeah, Nazir Adderley. All right, that'll do it. Wow, not a great first half. Hopefully that's a slow start to a big finish. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, sleeve up these, and you can kind of see what I'm sleeving up as we go. We'll get to number two here shortly. Yeah, I see a lot of guys moving pieces around. There's um the Patriots just got rid of their one of their big defensive players, right? They said that they have some big cap space to use now. I'll show you um what I'm going to do here and the reason I'm going to sleeve them up right now is we're going to look what we got. The prisms are pretty important in this, in my opinion, especially for people who collect rainbows. And if you get a shorter print, you know, you don't have to be afraid to sell it right away because there's going to be guys collecting rainbows and, uh, or I should say just guys, there's going to be people collecting rainbows. And uh, you get one of those shorter prints. You can actually, I, I always recommend possibly eBay for it uh, as an auction because it gives you the biggest, and I don't always recommend eBay for like a higher end card that doesn't draw necessarily a high demand, but a specific buyer, you, you don't need to put it on um, eBay. But for these lower print parallels, man, people are searching for them. For me, I, I'm searching every day for Jerry Hughes on eBay from Phoenix, and I can't see any, but if I see one on there and it's up for bid, I'm going to win it. I'll put it that way. I'm going to win the auction. If it's like one of the ones out of 10 or five or a one one I'm not going to let it go. So you can, if you have one other person, two other people looking for that card, um, they want it. You know, they're, they're going to pay what they need to pay to get it. And it can create kind of a lofty bidding war, which is part of the hobby. It's part of what you get when you get some of these lower prints.
All right, I'm going to show you what we got here. Try to set up these parallels a little bit. Out of 249 Butler, out of 199 Diggs, out of 175 Sean Alexander, out of 149 Chubb. These are just base uh, uh, rookies. Brown out of 199. Najoku out of 175. Is that what this one is? No, no, that's this one. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what all these look like here so I can kind of get used to them. There's the red. That's not a silver, is it? No. All right, so just to give you an idea what the start of these rainbows look like, it's not like, I mean, they're definitely very different parallels when you start to look at them. These are out of 149, out of 175, out of 199, and out of 249, I believe. Yep. So it does make for a fun collector set. <laughs> Alex. Uh, now, the, the green ones are out of 75. There's one of our silvers. This is out of 10. Out of 99. There's another one of our silvers. Out of 49. Another silver. There's a camo out of 25. So I'm going to just show you the reason I'm doing this. A little bit of what a rainbow can look like. There's another silver. Okay. Uh, I got to give out an extra card too. I forgot. I'm going to give out an extra hit as well. So just hypothetically, if this is all the same players, which you have two there, before we get into the out of five and one, which we didn't pull, that's what a rainbow can look like in Prism. So you can see it's, it actually is pretty nasty. You go from gold to camo to this purple checkerboard, the green swirl, the blue cracked ice, the red wave, um, uh, the color burst. I guess that's like a blue or teal and a bronze. Pretty cool though if you see it and, and you want to start shooting for a player it would look really neat to have that that's crazy that's what you do scott <laughs> surprise you don't get into trouble all right i'll set these off to the side all right i, I do got to get a hit these were our silvers out of it we had six of them total darrell henderson aaron Rodgers, and darnell savage rock yasin dak prescott and uh there's nazir so four, four rookie silvers, and then two quarterback vets, which was Dak and Aaron Rodgers. Um, and then Noah Fent and David Montgomery. One of those is the rookie patch autographs. Case it. Uh, I will do two hitless credits, two $5 hitless credits. So hang tight. Let me actually go through and do this, Ed. For the Denver Broncos, Noah Fant going out to Bryce Plower. There you go. That's the case hit. Uh, David Montgomery for the Chicago Bears going out to Aaron Elrod. Darnell Savage for the Green Bay Packers going out to Joseph Pereira. Jalen Ferguson for the Baltimore Ravens going out to Chris Vogt. Devin White for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Andrew Vodego. Bryce Love for the Washington Redskins, Lonnie Biddle. Uh, Trace McSorley for the Baltimore Ravens, the Chris. Julian Love for the New York Football Giants, going out to Joseph Gunn. Hakeem Butler for the Arizona Cardinals, going out to John C. Dawson Knox out of 75, going out to Joe Haynes for the Buffalo Bills. Taylor Rapp for the LA Rams, going out to Jamar Evans. Brett Rippian for the Denver Broncos, also going out to Bryce. For the Oakland Raiders, Jamar Evans getting to Cleveland Farrell. Rashawn Gary for the Green Bay Packers, going out to Joseph. Uh, Benny Snell for the Pittsburgh Steelers, going out to Joe Kurt. 
That is just rookie autographs. Jermaine Pratt, Cincinnati Bengals going out to Max Carey. And the Drew Locke, probably the hit of it all. All right. Oh, I have to give away a card, too. I will count it as a hit. Let me see what I can find here. Here we go. How about we'll do a Panini one card, Anthony Miller for the Chicago Bears. It's not going out to the Bears, but we'll give this out as a bonus hit. Someone that maybe you can uh, bank on to hopefully get better. It's a high end hit. They did announce Panini one. I saw this. I want to tell you guys that anyhow. Panini one was announced and it looks awesome. Even better than last year. Uh, I will say I'm going to put everyone in it, but I'm going to do it by teams because, again, we're going to count it as a hit for that team. I'll bring you guys over to the screen. All right. Missing hit counts as hit. Min roll five. Here we go. Six, that'll play. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Jacksonville Jaguars are going to get it. That's going to go out to Chris Voke of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Getting the Anthony Miller hit. So now what I'm going to do is bring all over the hitless teams and we give top two teams, we'll get a $5 hitless credit each. Good luck, all hitless teams. Maybe get something to put towards another one here. Mineral five. Seven will do. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Final round. Kansas City Chiefs and the Chargers. And that is going to be Derek Peterman. You are getting yourself $5 hitless credit. You can use on any break. LA, and that concludes our basketball page too. LA Chargers, Michael Williamson, you got yourself $5 credit to use that you can use on any break moving forward, basketball or football. All right. All right, guys. I hate to roll so quickly, but I am going to roll out so we can get ready to... Um, Get ready to do number two here shortly, all right?